The Lions are heading to the NFC Championship game for the first time since 1992. Remy, this wasn't the most perfect game, but in the end, the Lions come out with an 8-point win. Absolutely. That third quarter there, getting a little rocky. And you have everybody on the team saying that was not our best football by any means, but you could tell the crowd here, all 66,000 people really getting into it. At some certain points, we saw Eminem on the Jumbotron. He really brought the energy. Jared Goff chanced throughout the entire game in this, and it was really, honestly, I think the crowd carrying through some of them, the, the lower points that we saw in this matchup as well and all of the guys saying that really that energy is what kept them going. Dan Campbell took over this franchise three years ago. Since then, he's built this city, this team, into a winner. Jared Goff said afterwards, this team wasn't here by mistake. Big players continuing to make big plays. We've said this a million times about how it's the same group. It's not like we've you know added a ton. It's a lot of the same guys, and, and, and Brad and Dan have been very intentional about bringing in those type of guys who can who can handle moments like today and moments like last week and and ups and downs of a season and um, I think it's all been intentionally done by them and um, we're not here by accident. I was actually in the shower with with Bad V. He's like, did you stay out, did you stay after the game to see all the fans? I was like, no, not really, because I was talking to some players in interviews in the field, so I couldn't really take it all in. But he said he just you know stood out there and watched. He said not one fan left. Um, so it's just awesome to have. You know, support like that in the city uh, with the fans who, man, they've been yearning for something like this for years. And for us to finally give them that at our last, you know, home home game of the year, um, you know, they deserve it. They've been awesome all year. Um, hopefully, you know, they travel well to, to San Fran. This fan base deserves deserves all of it. And the guys on this team, we've, we've worked our asses off all year long. And um, we're so proud of, of what we've been able to do, the adversity we've been able to overcome. And we have another obstacle in our way. The Lions coming away with a 31 to 23 victory over the Buccaneers here tonight. And really this one also, we talked about grittiness and everybody has, and especially this team the entire season. We saw that here tonight, especially with a guy like Frank Ragnow who got hurt. He's been dealing with injuries, still was able to come back. And he said that's a really big part of the, the stuff that his parents instilled in him, those values that he has, and also just coming into this team and what that brings forward as well. And you could tell here tonight that these guys wanted this win. And even when they were down, we talked about it earlier, they were making it happen. And you talk about the rookies. Jameer Gibbs leads the team in rushing. That explosive 31-yard mm -hmm. touchdown beats an all-pro safety to the edge. That was really the turning point of this game. Sam Laporta led the team in the reception. Brad Holmes got a lot of criticism for this year's draft. It paid off tonight. And these guys made plays. We knew we needed to come out and throw it against this team. You know, we need to be efficient with the pass if we get some explosives. We weren't able to do that. Second half we were, and then we were able to lean on the run a little bit. You know, once we felt like maybe we could loosen them up, and, you know, Gibbs breaks one there at the end. Um, so those were pivotal for us. But ultimately we knew it was going to be that type of game, you know. And, um, and it was. And that's playoff football. This was the final game here at Ford Field. Now the Lions will travel west to San Francisco, the number one seed in the NFC. It won't be no easy task, but the Lions have shown this year they can play with anybody in the NFL. We'll have complete coverage online. Check us out at fox17online.com.